Hey, I'm Mike, and this is Hot Reviews. Today on Hot Reviews, I'll be reviewing the movie All the Money in the World, but first, I'm gonna have some volcano noodles. So these here are Paldo Volcano Chicken Flavored Noodles. That's hot, crazy, hot, spicy. They were given to me by a good friend, Stevie Baker. Thanks for the noodles, Stevie. So I just followed these simple instructions on the back of the package here to make these noodles up. I came with a sauce I put in there and some uh, chili flakes I also put in there. It says on the back here that adding hot pepper powder will make it taster. That's right, taster. It will make it taster. So I've decided I'm gonna add these uh, chili flakes here. So these here are Carolina Reaper flakes. Uh, Carolina Reaper, they're the world's hottest pepper in the Guinness Book of World Records right now. I got these chili flakes from Drew's Uncle Bubba-in-law. Uh, you may remember I used these chili flakes when I did the Samyang two times spicy chicken flavored ramen challenge. All right, so um, when I did the Samyang two times spicy chicken flavored ramen challenge, I put in a tablespoon of these reaper flakes. But uh, this time I think I might just put two tablespoons in. Let's see how, let's see how that, uh, let's see how this goes. All right, so have a look at this. This is two tablespoons of reaper flakes coming at you. Huh, what do you think? That's a lot of reaper flakes there, eh? That's crazy, eh? All right, so I'm just gonna uh, stir these flakes in here a little bit. Kind of hard to stir them here in this bowl. I'll kind of, I'll kind of stick them to the top. All right, so here we go: Paldo Volcano chicken flavored noodles with some uh, Carolina Reaper flakes. These, uh, these noodles are definitely not as spicy as I thought they'd be. <clears throat> Feeling a bit of heat, but not even close to being as hot as the um, Samyang two times spicy ramen. <laughs> That's it for the Paldo Volcano chicken noodles. Um, they're heating up a bit now. Actually, it's heating up a bit in the back of my throat. I'm gonna say though that the the noodles themselves aren't really that spicy. I'm pretty sure it's the uh, the two the two spoons of reapers that are heating up right now. But uh, oh, I'm starting to feel it a bit now after I've eaten them. Uh, while I was eating them, they didn't really seem too hot, but I'm starting to feel tears in my eyes. Stevie Baker. Noodles are burning my tongue. Woo! All right, so all the money in the world. All the money in the world is a true story of the kidnapping of the grandson of the richest man in the world and his refusal to pay the ransom. It was nominated for three Golden Globe Awards for Best Actress in a Drama, Michelle Williams, Best Supporting Actor, Christopher Plummer, and Best Director, Ridley Scott. Michelle Williams was amazing as always. She reminded me of film legend Katherine Hepburn in this movie. I feel her character wasn't written to be very interesting, but she took her emotions to the brink of going over the top without crossing the line, and that was captivating. Originally, the film finished filming with Kevin Spacey playing the rich grandpa, J. Paul Getty. But after Spacey's sexual assault allegations, Parts of the films were reshot with Christopher Plummer as John Paul Getty. There was even a trailer released with Kevin Spacey as John Paul Getty. I watched it and they had to put like a crazy amount of makeup on him. Like he doesn't even look like Kevin Spacey. Like he's, a, he's almost unrecognizable. 
I agree with their decision to take him out of the movie, though. Um, just with those allegations and the type of character John Paul Getty is, I think that I would just be disgusted just seeing Kevin Spacey in this role. Christopher Plummer was great, though, and he looks enough like John Paul Getty without the makeup. Christopher Plummer just has such a cool, calm, and collected attitude about him. It just uh, made the character really interesting. So this movie didn't win any Golden Globes, um, but I think it will be nominated for some Oscars. Um, I'm pretty sure that Michelle Williams will get a nomination for Best Actress in this movie. My guess is that Christopher Plummer will win the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. Not only because he was an amazing actor in this role, but also because of the sexual assault allegations against Kevin Spacey. The Oscars are very political, and I could see them giving Christopher Plummer the Oscar just to spite Kevin Spacey and show that they're not going to stand for sexual assault anymore. Speaking of that, I don't know if Ridley Scott will be nominated for an Oscar for Best Director. He could be. Um, the movie was well directed and everything, but I could also see the Oscars giving a nod to Greta Gerwin for her directorial debut, Lady Bird. Uh, Lady Bird was a big winner at the Golden Globes, except Greta Gerwin wasn't nominated for Best Director. And when the nominees were announced, Natalie Portman made a point of pointing out that there was no female directors nominated. If Greta Gerwin does get nominated, I could see Ridley Scott being bumped out of this category when it goes to the Oscars. I thought All the Money in the World was a pretty good movie, but it's not a movie that I would really want to watch again. I think it was a little more informative than it was entertaining. Also, the grandson who gets kidnapped? I don't think he really had much of a character. I didn't really feel too bad for him. I'm gonna give All the Money in the World three out of five peppers. So anyway, that's what I thought of All the Money in the World. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching this episode of Hot Reviews. If you liked what you saw and you haven't already, please subscribe. You can also click the little bell so you get notifications when new videos are posted. Please join us on Facebook and Instagram as well. And we'll see you next time.